Previously on AI The Somnium Files. Date, let's go over the facts of the case. Good idea. Iba, can you give me a timeline of the events of the crime? At once. Ta da! I wonder who sent that Nile message to Mizuki. Probably the culprit themselves. But Mizuki wouldn't obey the instructions of a complete stranger. Then Mizuki knew the sender. Which means the merry go round wasn't the murder scene. She can't move a body or drive a car. It means the likelihood of Mizuki being the killer is almost zero. The weapon used to commit the murder is almost certainly the ice pick Mizuki was holding when we discovered her. Our perp wants the limelight. When Ota first discovered the body, the ice pick was still lodged in the left eye socket. You may be able to heal her, Date. You just have to sync with her. Enough of that, back to the video. Timies are items that affect time. You will sometimes obtain them when you perform an action. Oh. Timies only affect the time taken to perform an action. You only be able to hold three timies. Pick up a timie when you already hold three, you will replace one. Timies are expended after one use, but use them as often as you can. Okay. Okay, so that was the photograph. Uh, let's check out... Uh, let's check out the control room. The control room of the merry-go-round lifted out of the ground. Uh, let's knock. Hello? Are you open? One adult and one child, please. I am not a child. Any open seats will do. That's really stupid. Anything in the back is fine. No response. There must not be anyone inside. So, is it safe to enter? Should be. Should be, yeah. The control room of the merry-go-round. Yeah, I know. What is your plan once I am inside? It is a control room. Maybe we can do something in there. Like, stop the carousel, maybe? I do maybe? not think it will be that easy. Just try it. Oh, okay. Part of me wishes I had interacted with the microphone before I did this. I didn't expect to see this inside. What's this? This is nothingness. I do not see an exit either. Oh but boy. There's something suspicious here. It's dark. Oh, hey, look. Branching I path. See two bird cages. Looks like there's something inside them. Take a look. Um, okay. A bird cage. There are ripped pieces of paper inside. Let's look like a photograph. Let's, uh, let's peek let's inside. Let's see. What is it? It looks like a picture of something. It looks like Mizuki when she was younger, judging from the middle one. You see that? Picture. What, okay, what about the other one? A birdcage with blown up rubbers inside. Those aren't rubbers, those are balloons. There is also a deflated rubber on the floor. Again, the fault of Japanese direct translation. This is not rubber, these are balloons. Could you please not call it a rubber? You can say balloon. I do not understand. It is clearly rubber. Please. Uh, let's take a look inside, I guess? There are a number of balloons inside. Looks like they'd fly away if you lifted the cage. What would that accomplish? I don't know. Dream worlds are unpredictable. Cause yeah, and effect are. are screwed up here. Huh. Okay, you know what? Let's go... Agent Dante, a bird cage. You've got five minutes. Okay, five There minutes. are ripped pieces of paper inside. Mm. Let's lift this thing. All right. Leave it to me. This is obviously one of the two branching paths. Uh, it is heavier than it looks. Oh, that's fast. Got the birdcage. We picked one path out of the two branching paths. Let's uh, let's hope and pray that this wasn't the right. This was the right choice. What happened? All I did was move the cage. Retry will allow you to return to a save point just after unlocking a mental lock, but you only have three, three retries. Going back one lock costs one, going back two costs two, and going back three locks will cost all three. You regain your three retries by selecting restart from the menu or by failing the or by failing the sink. This is likely your best option if the time is low. Okay. There are torn pieces of paper. Uh let's uh, let's piece them together, shall we? Leave it to me. I enjoy puzzles like this. Yeah, it's a good thing she's doing it for me and not me. It's obviously a photograph is a memory of some sort. Done. Ah. But Hey, it's fixed now. Nice. So she wow. You were able to get out? What the hell? So the photo was the key. I remember it clearly. One day I came home to find that photo torn up in the trash bin. When I asked Mizuki about it, she started to cry. I don't know why she tore up that photo, but whatever her reason, it seemed like she regrets it. Since we repaired the photo and saw me of the bird cage. Mizuki must be having a hard time. Oh hell yeah. But the cage is gone. 
We can get to Mizuki now. Do you not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? You can do it if you try a little. No, you can't. Yeah, she's got All a point. Right, fine. We have to stop the spinning. Selecting the map icon will bring up a map of the current Somnium world. You can see your current location on objects you've investigated on your Somnium map. If you're lost at one same time, try checking the map. Uh, okay, so there's still stuff I have to go and check. There's a microphone, a the gate, a panda ride, and a parasol. So let's, let's, let's check the microphone. What's this? Damn it. This appears to be the microphone for the speaker. Okay. Uh, let's not. <laughs> uh oh, that is a horrifying panda looking panda ride. Spinning. Uh, spin more. Okay, let's try this. Why? Maybe it's like the speaker before. Okay, it stopped. Hey! I see. These were also linked. Figures. That's right. Oh, there's Mizuki. Mizuki! Let's go to her. Got it. Yeah, but the gate's still in the way. If you choose the correct answer as your final answer, you can actually exceed the 360 second time limit. Even if it seems like you don't have a lot of time left, don't give up, you might be able to do it. Oh. Agent Date, you've got four minutes. Uh, ooh, what's this? A merry go round. Uh, what's the, what, what's the point of this? Me, but do you happen to know the culprit? Haha. -ha. Oh, it actually responded. I see. Did you learn something? I did. Beyond. Well? This horse cannot speak English. <sighs> it's on, Mizuki. Mizuki. Um, um, this one. I will imitate you, Dot. Oh, little mini. Oh, good boy. Okay, cutie little mini light bulb. <laughs> ah, you turned off mini, mini, mini. I never said that before. <laughs> no reaction. Because it doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, I wasted that. It's but, um, Mizuki. Uh, let's try this, I guess. Oh, that's. Mizuki. Are you okay? Date. Date! <laughs> Looks like she can talk again. I should calm down and ask her a few questions. I asked her about last night, about the Nile message, about Oda, and about Shoko. I know that after Ota ran off, something must have happened to make Mizuki want to hide. Uh, but first of all, how are you doing? I told you, I'm fine. So annoying. Ugh, kids. I annoyed you already, huh? The pressure is annoying. What pressure? Force over area measured in Pascal's dummy. <laughs> His face explains how done I am with this shit. I see she is back to her usual self. Her attitude is within normal parameters. Smartass. I think I liked her better when she was silent. Okay, uh... Who sent you that Nile message? I... I can't tell you. Why? Why not? 
Because I don't want to. That's not a reason. Yeah, that's not a reason. This is a murder investigation. You were at the scene of the crime because of that Nile message. Whoever sent it to you is a prime suspect. I don't think she is going to answer. <sighs> when she is in a mood, it's impossible to get her to talk. We just helped her get out of a mood and now she's that's back in a mood. That's the girl she is. <sighs> Sometimes I think you know her better than I do. How long do you think I've been observing her? It's been four years now. Correct. I know things that even you do not know. Like? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Actually, never mind. Some things I'm better off not knowing. Yeah, fair By enough. By the way, we already looked into Mizuki's cell phone. Unfortunately, the contents were wiped. Figures. I'm tracing the sender of the Nile message through other means, but it's taking me some time. Well, if, as long as you can do that, it'd be great, I guess. What about that figure I saw? The one walking into back into the, Say the wilderness or whatever. Who's that grass. figure I saw? What? Oh, wait. Insomnia in your dream. I saw a silhouette. Doctor, yeah. Mizuki would not understand the question. That would have been someone she might have seen. She does not right? experience Somnium as you do. You are witnessing a dream inside her brain. Ah. Try asking Everybody. again. Did you see anyone at the merry-go-round the night you found Shoko? I did. I saw someone. There's your figure. In the corner, past the merry-go-round. Who did you see? Probably only saw her there back. I don't know. It was dark and raining. They looked scary, so I hid inside the merry-go-round. The door was open a little bit, so I snuck in. But that doesn't explain the fact that you had that ice pick in your hands, though. Are you hungry? I'm fine now. Okay. But I didn't forget your promise. A promise? Stu, you said you'd take me. Ah, so you yeah. heard that, huh? <laughs> He's like, oh crap. Infonia only affects speech. Her hearing should still be intact. Yes, of course it should be. Sure, Mizuki. When well, we're all done here. Yay! Okay, now what? Mizuki, she's not lying in the chair, she's sitting there. She's got the gloomy looking eyes, I sympathize with her. Last night she saw her mother. Well, she saw what no kid should ever have to see. It'll take a while for her to get back to normal. Yeah. Uh, about that figure I saw. No, that. I saw it too. Who or what do you think it was? Hmm. Most likely someone Mizuki saw in person projected into her subconscious. Dreams can only be constructed from images and experiences the subject was present for. Mizuki Samian couldn't have contained that figure if she didn't see it in person. Of course, not everything we see in our dreams looks exactly the same as it did in the real world. You saw some strange things in Samian earlier, didn't you, Dante? Yes, I did. That event you experienced is obviously not as it happened in reality. Yeah, with a demonic freaking carousel. Dreams are a collage of many memories, intertwining and blending with each other. Your skills as a sinker allow you to untangle those dreams and solve mysteries no one else can. Hmm. Peter, who do you think the culprit is? Could be anyone. Well, let's see. Perhaps it was you, Special Agent Dotty. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Asshole. In a normal dream, the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. Okay. Dreams are <clears throat> first person experiences. Yeah, they're not third person. However, the circumstances are slightly different during a sink. The sinker dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. A play for the sinker, huh? But this dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were watching a play. The subject is the author, director, and actor. The sinker is merely the audience. It's kind of like Inception in a way. Uh, thoughts on the suspect? How would I know? Oh. We still don't have enough information. Continue your investigation, Special Agent. I guess I just have to keep talking until I run out of questions to ask. No need to report specifics. We saw it all from here in the control room. Okay, fair enough. What the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? Fair enough. We've got it all recorded. Fair enough. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it. You can stop tooting your own horn now. Anyway, we know about the figure you saw. I wonder who that could be. Only Mizuki knows. You have any questions? Right, there was something. Hey, Mizuki, when we found you, you were holding the ice pick, right? Yeah, that's what Can I want to know, too. Why? When I got there, the ice pick was... it was... it was stuck in my mom's eye. Jeez. I couldn't think straight. I The only thing I could think was... I had to get it out. So you panicked and pulled it out. It makes sense. Yeah. And you held on to it when you hit in the column. That makes sense too. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Yes, it does. Any other questions, boss? Okay, just one more question. This is very important. When you pulled out the ice pick, 
Was Shoko's eye still there? Oh, that is not something you want to ask a kid, let me tell you what. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. The eye socket was empty. Oh, ooh. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, Mizuki. That was very helpful. Okay, so now we've established general scene of the crime when, when Mizuki stumbled on, upon it. Law shines in moments like this. She doesn't hesitate to ask anything. Now we know that Mizuki did not remove the victim's eye. It was removed before she found the body. When we got to the scene, it was definitely missing. And it has not yet been recovered. We can therefore conclude it has been removed from the scene. Not really. It might have been... I mean, realistically, it might have been lost in transit. It might have... And, or it might have been destroyed and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, I'm glad she's talking again. You healed the wounds in her heart by sinking with her. That's not her heart, that's her brain! Well, you meaning you and Iba. The boss has extraordinary perception. I deserve much of the credit for helping Mizuki recover her voice. Now, uh, all you did was follow my instructions. Date, Mizuki needs you. Protect her. I will. Any more questions, Mizuki? No? Okay. Oh, whoops. So I guess I had to continue talking to Pewter then. Ah, yes, I know. Aiba is linked to your brain with an artificial nerve. Yes, To it, put it more simply, Aiba is a part of your brain. During sinking, your consciousness is sent into the subject's somnium. Part of okay. Iba's self is also synced, but only a part. Not all of Iba's functions are transferred into somnium. So that's why Somnium Iba is so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me dumb. I'll call you whatever the hell you like. You're sitting in my head. Okay, now what? What's inside this? Sometimes a cleaning lady is hiding inside. That's disturbing. What else am I supposed to ask her? Oh. So hey, much Peter, filler. When we were in Somnium earlier, Iba was in human form. So much She's filler. She's never looked like that before. That was Iba's idea. Seriously? What? I thought you would be more pleased. I designed it to your taste. Seriously? What well, part of that was my taste? I know everything inside your mind. You don't have to hide it. <laughs> Pewter, Iba's broken. She's talking crazy. <laughs> I am not broken. Perhaps Iba admires the human form. Maybe. It's not that. As a comp it was just a little something. Yeah, I mean, you're an eyeball. I consider Kaname Date to be my host. I owe him gratitude. For sitting inside his eye socket all day. That appearance would make him happy. Hmm. <laughs> Why would that make me happy? Okay, what now? Oh, summarize for me. Anyway, I get the story. Mizuki witnessed a suspicious person at the scene, but she didn't get a good look at them. Maybe there's something at the scene we missed. Date, could you return to the scene of the crime? There might be more to Bloom Park than we first thought. That's what I would have said from the get-go. I would have just stayed there instead of letting Miss Popeye the lady drag me back to her place for tea. Then again, if she hadn't done that, we wouldn't have been able to figure out that her mom is probably the next one to die. When I returned to the scene, I brought Mizuki with me. Why? I saw a suspicious figure in Somnium, but I couldn't be sure of its exact location. I brought Mizuki along to help pin it down. Somewhere around here, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm walking towards the entrance, past the bush. Can I click here, please? In the past, there was a nice paved path here. It's covered in brush and weeds now, but I can still make out the trail heading back. The figure went this way. Uh, just a bench, ferris wheel, the eye that doesn't blink, the sky. Even Tokyo nighttime is bright. Even the patches of sky, I can't see the stars. It's because of all the light. Here's a horse turned upside down. That's like a sad overturned insect. <laughs> hey, Mizuki, do you remember anything else? Yeah, I do. What do you remember? I went to this amusement park when I was little. Yeah, I know. You saw that panda ride that was I back was there. I remember it so clearly. This is where I saw my mom and dad smile. Is it because you pieced together that photo that was in her brain? Or her dream, rather? I had so many happy memories here. Hmm. The only happy memories I really have are from here. Oh, don't say that. Memories of my family are so bright and colorful. Yeah. Well, happy memories tend but to be now, that way. Uh, but now... This is where mom... Yep. Pretty much. Okay, uh... Are you cold? What do you care? Uh... You never cared about me, ever! Well, I'm trying to care now. And I liked it that way. I don't want you getting close to me. I mean, other than the fact that you're 12 years old. Do you think I like you now because I hugged you after the sink? Did you think, aw, how sweet, she likes me? Oh boy. Don't get it twisted. I only hugged you because you were standing right in front of me. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Could have been anything. Could have been a pole or cactus. In fact, I wish it were a cactus. Oh boy. So stop worrying about me, okay? <laughs> so she says. So she says. Oh, you're so... Anything else? About the suspicious figure. You saw that person standing here, right? A man? Yeah. What was he doing? Probably walking away. I don't know, it was dark. 
but I think he was watching me. So he was standing there in the rain with no umbrella. Wow. So he's. I don't remember anything else. Standing. I don't know if you see my cursor, but here. I got scared and went to hide inside the column. Nothing. Just wondering where this goes. Well, I mean. Iba, what's past here? This leads to the subway. The subway, huh? The subway. It has, of course, closed down. It is no longer in service. Yeah, but the tunnel still might be open, right? This is due to the explosion at the chemical plant that occurred years ago. Okay, so there is a subway. I think the yellow lines are subway lines, right? The surrounding district of Kawasaki was contaminated and declared off limits. <laughs> Have it your way. Bloom Park closed for the same reason, as did all commerce and industry in Kawasaki. Damn. This means the railroads and public transportation to and from this area were shut down as well. So, like, this entire area was shut down? Damn. Does, Iba, does the entire track run underground? I hate the fact that you have to click to continue these logical tra trains of thought that shouldn't stop. No. The track leading northward from Bloom Park eventually rises to ground level. So it goes up. Okay. At a railroad crossing? Ah. Correct. Then the tracks must cross a surface street at some point. Correct. A railroad crossing. Railroad crossing. Iba, do me a favor. Can you see if any cars were driving on that surface street last night? Oh, nice. Good idea. Searching. Hey, you've been quiet for a long time. Are you okay? I'm just thinking. I've got something. I picked up a single vehicle traversing that street last night. Ooh. A black SUV. Typical, it's a black SUV. Let me guess, it's unmarked. I ran the plate through the vehicle registration database to find the owner. How much you want to bet it's her father? Who was it? Shoko I knew it! Nadami's <laughs> ex-husband and Mizuki's father. Gasp! Renju Okiura. What a revelation. So now I need to find her dad. This is what we need to do. So let me get this straight. You think that daddy drove his car on the tracks through the tunnel, stopped at the closed down station and carried mom's body to the park? I can't prove it was Renju. Yeah, I can't. I mean, it could have been the... It's the car, but it might not have been the owner driving the car. There's a chance someone else was driving the car. Yeah, there is a chance. Yeah. Yeah. But, in any case, I know that the suspect must have used the subway tracks. Okay. That explains why there were no cars parked near the scene. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense now. It makes sense now. So the car was parked underground, and they went out from the uh, closed subway station. Using that subway station... You could take the body right to the merry-go-round without being caught on camera. You see, now it's starting to make sense, and now I'm starting to get invested in this story. Daddy didn't do it! I'm not saying he did, kid. I am not so certain. Either way, I have to talk to Renju, and yeah. you can help me find him. Yep, please help me find him. Uh, I can talk to her, I guess. Hey, Mizuki, tell me again. The person you saw at the merry-go-round... No, it wasn't Daddy. I know it wasn't. I mean, she might have been able to recognize him if it really was her father. You're sure? Will I? I don't know. Yeah, you don't know. That's the point, kid. When was the last time you saw her da your dad anyway? I think about a week ago. Really? When I went to hang out at Lemnus Gate. Ah, I see. He's the sort of father who works all the time and doesn't get to hang out with his kid. Hmm. Did you notice anything different about him? Nothing really. He was the same as usual. And he didn't come to see you in the hospital, did he? No. Of course not. Because why would, why would he? Not even for his own daughter. Damn, that's cold. That is very unusual. Very unusual indeed. Uh, when was the last time you spoke with him, actually? I don't remember. It was a while ago. What about you? What about me? You tried calling him. <laughs> I did. I called earlier, and I tried a few times last night. Nothing, And right? he didn't pick up? No. As usual. Now about the Nile message. Mizuki. Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Bad personality? <laughs> there was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does it sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Huh. Yeah, that was it. So now it's changed to her dad being the prime suspect of this case now. It was from daddy's phone. Oh boy. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make daddy a suspect, so... I mean, come on, there's gonna, the suspicion's gonna fall on him sooner or later, right? He's been deliberately avoiding you, deliberately avoiding the police. So you kept quiet. And keeping quiet about involvement. Yeah. And, uh, 
like in this in this whole affair. My dad's never said anything like that to me ever. That he was counting on me. I had to go. But you invited Ota along. Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki district. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime rate there. Figures. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. Uh, it, yeah, that makes sense. A twelve-year-old girl going into a wretched hive of scum and villainy. What else about that now message? But it couldn't be him. Well, I mean, it could might have been someone using his cell phone. Why not? Daddy couldn't have sent the message. Someone else must have used his phone. Maybe. I mean, if we're being optimistic. And his car. Daddy also wasn't being very optimistic. The car either. Somebody else did it. Being very optimistic here. Killer did it, not Daddy. You're being very optimistic. The here. only evidence we have so far leads to one conclusion. Yep. The cell phone and the car were both operated by Renju Okiara. But until we can prove that, it's still a suspicion, though. So. I'm continuing to be optimistic. Oh, got a phone call. Date, incoming call from the boss. Connected. Hey, I just got the report from Ivan. Wait, he doesn't carry a cell phone, but he can still receive calls? Oh, it's because of the uh, the, the, the computer in his eyeball. Renju is a suspect? He's definitely suspicious. I agree. I think he's our number one suspect. Yeah, definitely. He's been acting strange since last night. He didn't come see Mizuki in the hospital, won't pick up his phone, and he vanishes after questioning. I mean, yeah, that is prime suspicious material. He doesn't have an alibi for the time of the murder, either. Yeah, basically. He doesn't? No, not one we can corroborate. Uh, oh, I can talk to her. Uh, why did you release him? So Renju was questioned at a local station? That's right. Then why didn't you keep him there? Protocol. Nothing we could do. Renju was questioned in a local station, police station the same day as the murder, and proto- Well, I don't know about this, but typical police protocol in the United States, if I remember correctly from my study, um, US law, you can keep a suspect in an investigation in local lockup for I think 48 hours maximum without um, cause to hold them. So I don't know about this, but I mean, if they wanted to be realistic, they could have held him, but then we wouldn't have a game. So. He wasn't a suspect then, and we had nothing to charge him with. Oops, yeah, we couldn't hold him. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Any idea where Renju is? No, I told you he vanished. <laughs> where are you headed? Renju's house. Okay. Don't bother. I had local cops search the place. They didn't find anything. Yeah, but I might be able to find something. <sighs> where could he be? Uh, about Renju's alibi. Shoko's time of death was estimated to be about 5 p.m. yesterday. Okay. Renju claims that he was at home alone at the time. Typical. But that means no one can back up his story. And what about his questioning? Testimony? He didn't give us any new information. Okay. He didn't have much to say at all, really. That's not good. Uh, I can see boss through my left eye. Iba is streaming the image in real time. I don't have a cell phone, never care for them, but Iba can connect to any network in range. Oh, so she is a cell phone. As I'm able to contact, communicate with HQ. Okay. To Mizuki, it looks like I'm talking to a Bluetooth. She doesn't see what I see. Uh, hang up the phone. All right, boss. All right, boss. Let me know if you find something. You too. Keep me in the loop. And there we go. Where the hell did Renju go? Come on, kid. You, t you, you, you gotta know something about your dad, uh, right? Uh, Sunpoke? What? Um, Sunpoke. Or something. Question mark. Oh, Sunfish Pocket. Oh. Renju was telling me about that place. It's a maid cafe that he runs. <sighs> Why? I found it. Approximately 6.2 miles north-northeast, in Akihabara. Renju! 